creating an email opt-in page and a two-step sales funnel with an upsell using Wix.com. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from Daytips.com, helping serious entrepreneurs like you to boost sales to your products and services online using simple but super effective online marketing tips and tricks. If you are a serious entrepreneur, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that bell notification button as well so you never miss a tip that could help you to boost your online earnings. So in this video, I thought I would kind of show you how to create a simple sales funnel and an email opt-in form using Wix.com. A lot of you guys actually use Wix.com to build your websites out and it's super important for you to be capturing leads on your website so you can actually build repeat customers to your products or your services online. And a really great way to actually generate repeat business through email marketing is to use what's known as an opt-in form. And I'm gonna show you how to create that in this video. I will also leave links in the description down below to some of my other email marketing uh, tutorials. So make sure you go and watch some of those so that this video kind of makes even more sense to you. I will also be leaving a link to Aweber in the description down below so you can sign up to Aweber to help you to manage your email marketing needs. And I'm gonna be demonstrating how to use Aweber within this tutorial as well. So as you can see on my screen, I'm actually in Wix um, and this is kind of how it will look like. This is how, when you're using the Wix editor, this is how it will look. And I've just picked a random template here for the purposes of this video. I actually wanna to go to where it says menus and pages and click on that. And I want to actually add a new page. And as you can see, the new page comes up here and I can name this anything I want. So I'm going to name this free giveaway. Now, the reason why I'm naming this free giveaway is because when you're creating um, what we're doing is an opt-in page. So when you're creating an opt-in page, you want to kind of have something along the lines of a lead magnet. So a lead magnet essentially is something of value that you can give away for free to your potential website visitors in exchange for their name and email address. And this kind of helps you to increase your opt-in rate. So your opt-in rate is the amount of people who are actually giving you their names and email address. Now I'm going to make believe as if I am kind of doing this, creating this opt-in form for a company that sells hair products. So my opt-in form is going to be people who want to increase the length of their hair. So I'm going to kind of use that and keep that in mind when I'm creating this particular opt-in form. So here I have this blank page and I'm gonna turn this blank page into my opt-in form. So I'm going to come down here to where it says add and I'm going to add some text and I'm gonna choose text and drag it onto my page. And at the moment it just says heading one, but I'm going to change this to say something enticing. So something that will kind of capture whoever's looking at this page and make them want to enter their name and email address. So I'm going to put something in like grow your hair by an inch every week. And then I'm going to kind of resize this by literally clicking on it. And I can change the font size to make it the size that I need it to be. And you also want to make sure that your text is uh, kind of clear as well. You want it to be really clear and visible. So I might even add an effect to this text and make it stand out a little bit more. See, I've added this first effect here and it just makes it stand out a little bit more. Uh, makes it a little bit more kind of visible on the page. And then I kind of want to increase the size of it again. And center it. And make sure it's in the middle of my page. And again, you want to kind of tweak this and make this as good as it can be. So you don't want it too big because I'm going to add my call to action buttons in a second. And then I'm just going to kind of tweak the text and inch every 
week. Now, I just kind of want to point out the fact that um, I've put here grow your hair by an inch every week. So I haven't made like an outrageous claim necessarily. Um, I've made a claim that is kind of realistic. So that can kind of entice people more. If your claim is a little bit too bold, then people might be like, well, that's too good to believe. That's too good to be true. So yeah, you want to make a bold claim, but you want it to sound realistic as well. So it, it, people actually want to opt in because they think, yeah, that's something that they can actually achieve. So you can also add a button. So I'm going to go to add and button. And you have kind of a range of different buttons that you can add. You want to pick one that is kind of captivating that makes people want to click so for example this one looks quite captivating so i'm going to add that to the page and i'm going to change the size and instead of click me my call to action is going to be click here to download now and you also can add a link here to an external web page so that people can actually sign in and i'm going to show you how to do that using aweber so we're going to go over to aweber now and inside of aweber you want to make sure that you create a list now it's super important that you segment people on your email list uh, because you want to know what people signed up for so you can send them appropriate marketing materials and appropriate information so the first thing you want to go to is go up here to where it says manage lists and once you've clicked on manage lists, you can create a new list. Now I've already got quite a few lists. So I'm just gonna pick one list as an example to demonstrate in this video. Um, so I'm gonna go back to my home. And one thing that you want to make sure is if you have multiple lists, it will show you your current list. So you wanna make sure that you are editing in the list that you want to be editing in at the moment. So make sure you're in the list that you want to be editing for. So um, if I was creating a list for this particular page, then I would want to make sure that I name this list something I could remember, like maybe my hair growth leads, for example, um, if I'm upselling these particular people, so the people who sign up to this, if I'm upselling them to my hair growth product, then I wanna make sure that I, I kind of label that correctly. So you might want to name that something that is memorable and then you want to actually create the very first email that they're going to receive. Now, I've done a video not too long ago on how to create a follow-up series and automated emails. So when someone actually opts in to your, your, your email list or signs up for your free giveaway, you can actually send them an automated email and I'll leave that video in the description down below as well. Uh, but just as a quick kind of summary, you can go to messages and follow-up series. And here is where you set up your automated email. So uh, you can kind of create a new message and add that message to your automated email. And the very first email is, as you can see, I've got a test email in here. So the very first email that they receive, that you put on your series will be the first email that they automatically receive when they sign up for your email list. And you can actually attach anything you like. So uh, in obviously in the, the promise, my promise is um, a guide to grow your hair. So I might want to attach maybe a PDF down here so that they receive that in the very first email that they get. So once you've set up your very first email, you now want to, want to connect this email list to Wix.com. And you do that by going up here to sign up forms. So you can actually create a sign up form and you can design your sign up form. So at the moment, it's not really designed very well, but they've got a few templates that you can actually utilize here. So I'm gonna choose one of these templates, maybe this one, this one looks quite good, and I'm going to load the template. And you can add your fields here, or you can delete your fields. So at the moment, I'm asking for a name and an email address. Now I recommend that you ask for a name and an email address. So when you're writing your emails, you can actually address your subscribers by their first name. If you add more kind of requirements, so maybe first name, last name, mobile number, the more information you ask for, then the less likely someone is to actually submit that information. So if I was you, I would keep it at just name and email address. So you can actually save your form once you finish designing it and go to step two. And then you want to name your form. So I'm going to name this form hair growth list. 
and then you can select the thank you page. Now, the thank you page can actually be a custom URL page. So I suggest that you make your thank you page a custom URL page. Um, and we're going to speak about that in a second. Um, but if you make it a, thank, a custom URL page, you can make this your upsell page. So when someone, for example, signs up for this particular hair growth lead magnet and they get the free guide, then instead of sending them to a, a, a normal kind of thank you page that Aweber will generate for you, you can send them straight to your upsell. So that upsell might be your hair growth product. Maybe it's a page that's giving them 10% off or something like that. And you wanna put that upsell page inside there. So that's kind of how you create your two step sales funnel is by taking, is by taking them directly to your sales page. Um, but for now, we don't have any kind of upsell page to take them to. So I'm gonna take them to my basic thank you page. And if you preview that, this is what it looks like. So it says, you're almost done, activate your subscription. And they have to actually confirm their subscription and they will be on your mailing list. Now that's called a two-step verification. I highly recommend that you keep that on because what that would do is it would mean that someone has to enter a valid email address in order to be confirmed on your email list. So no one can kind of come and submit a random email address and still and still get your free download. If you go through the two-step verification process, then that's a way to kind of guarantee that everyone on your list actually really wants to be there. So you can save these settings and move on to the next step once you're finished. And it gives you different options on how you can publish your form. So you can actually install your form on your website. Um, you can actually send the HTML to your web designer or you can use the form as a landing page. So I'm going to copy this. This is the form as a landing page. And if I actually go to my web browser and type that in, then this is where it takes me. So it takes me to here where people can actually submit their name and email address. Um, and I can come back to Wix, click on this button and I can add that as a web address. So if I pasted that in there and clicked on uh, done, and if I preview this page now, then this is my opt-in page and I can click here to download. This is what people will see and it will take them straight to this. So when they put their name and their email address in here, they'll get an email telling them to confirm their subscription and they will be on your email list. So you can also actually embed your form on your Aweber page if you wanted to. So as an example, I'm going to get rid of this button and I'm going to go to add. And if you go to more, then you can actually go to HTML iframe and put that where the button is or where the button was and you can edit the code and go back to your Aweber form. And instead of clicking on use my form as a landing page, you can click on I will install my form and you'll copy this script here. And you can actually paste this into the enter code section and apply. And as you can see, it now actually embeds the form onto your website itself. So you don't actually have to send them off to an external web page that just embeds the form for you. And then you can preview this. And this is how it looks. So your subscribers can actually see this page and instead of having a button that clicks them off and kind of sends them to this page, you can actually just have them enter their name and email address directly on your website. Now, personally, I kind of like the embed option rather than sending them away from your site, which is kind of uh, an, another step in the process, but maybe try both, see which one converts better for you and stick with the one that is working well and working best for you. So hopefully now you have a better understanding of why an opt-in form is important and most importantly, how you can actually include an opt-in form on your website. I will be doing further videos on opt-in forms and how to increase your opt-in rate and your open rate of your emails and also what you want to do with regards to actually setting up your upsell page as well. So instead of sending people directly to a thank you page, I'm going to be showing you how to create an effective 
kind of upsell page so you can actually turn your leads into tangible sales and customers who buy from you regularly. So I really do hope that this video brought you value. Um, I also have the formula, which is the free guide to actually generating leads and sales online to your business. You absolutely wanna make sure you download that. That's going to be showing you the fundamentals on how you can actually drive new customers to your business online using the internet, using social media, using search engine optimization and using your website and just doing a few things uh, in a different way to help you to kind of optimize your site for more customers, more leads and more sales. So make sure you go and download that. It's absolutely free. A copy of it will be in the description down below. I'll also leave a link to it somewhere on this screen as well. So make sure you click that and go and download. But I really do hope that this video brought you value. And if it did, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day. Make sure you download the formula and I will see you soon.